So Paul starts this discussion concerning the household of God with you men, you older men in particular, because in a very real sense, your character is going to set the tone for the rest of the church. Who you are as a man, Monday morning at work. Who you are as a man by yourself when nobody's watching. Who you are as a man in your living room with your family. Who you are as a man when you're with your wife in private. All of these are character issues. You're doing things in all of those contexts because of who you are on the inside. That's who you really are. Now then, when we take that hard look, I know immediately, I know I do, you feel this. I'm nobody. I'm a sinner. I'm checked out. I'm not good enough. I don't want to be an influence. I don't want to be a mentor. I want to keep at arm's length from everybody so that I don't mess this up and I'm just going to hang out and I'm just going to, you know, take bits and pieces in, but I know my heart, I know my character, and I'm really a messed up individual. And therefore, I can't be a mentor to one of these young men or some young family that, that needs some insights and to how life should be lived out because I messed mine up so much I'm just going to step back you know what that is that is the coward's way out and here's why it's not because I'm going to encourage you men step up and be better and blah 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 no I'm going to point to Jesus Christ you see he shores up all of our failings men and we have many And so his character that allowed him to live a sinless life, you got to understand that by faith, that now belongs to you. And so he was tempted. We could go to the text, but you know it. I quote it all the time. In Hebrews, it says that he's our high priest. He was tempted in every way, just like we were and are, yet without sin. And so in all your failures, your character, your actions... Jesus won the day. So when you're tempted to lust and you fail miserably, and now you're like, I can't counsel anybody, I can't be somebody to confide in, none of that, because I'm a loser. When you have failed, Jesus always overcame, and now you have trusted in him, and part of that is now a part of you, and you have the capacity now to rest in the forgiveness earned for you on the cross through Jesus Christ. Every sin that you've ever committed, every sin you'll ever commit was nailed to that cross, and so there is hope for you and for me. Yes, we are miserable failures, character and otherwise, but our Lord and Savior is not, and he is our master. He is the one that we bow to, and he has promised that we are now in him. We are in Christ. Our Father doesn't look at us like that anymore. And I'm not saying you get this big head and like, Psh, I've got this. I'm, not, I'm never going to be, you're going to be tempted. You're going to fail. And this is why you have Christ. Christ. Faith, grace. This is why you can be a man in the household of God. Not because, well, I I never gave into that sin, so now I can help you. Let me give you three pointers and you do it. No, the fact of the matter is, hey, I blew it too. I'm going to be honest with you. And thank God for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's it. That's the counsel that you give. And so this isn't about be better men, be stronger. No, admit that you're weak, admit that you're a sinner, point others to Christ as well, just like you ran to him. 